Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I am Landlin, and we're back with episode two of my Vanilla Minecraft 1.8 build spotlight. And today we're going to take a look at something that I'm sure you guys were all curious about in the previous episode. If we go ahead and drop back down here or run all the way to the end of the hallway, we see this uh, seemingly obsidian encased, I don't know, wall, if you will, with an iron door and a, and a hopper. A dropper. A hopper. So if you're familiar at all with Mr. Crayfish, you know that he created a, well, he made his own version of the uh, item hopper, like item lock system, which I've found to be absolutely amazing. I, I think this is probably one of the coolest things I've seen in Minecraft. So if you haven't seen it, of course, be sure to check out the description of this video where you will find a link to Mr. Crayfish's video where he has a tutorial on how to create something similar. So let's go ahead and open up my armory where we can take a look at some of the cool stuff that you can do if you have uh, a few hostile players on your server or if you just want to make something kind of neat come on now get in there there we go just like that you can put any item in there you want any type of thing that you can think of that can stack up the 64 you can use as a trigger mechanism to open the door it's pretty awesome so anything anyway first things first um, like I said this is kind of like my armory Kind of, you know, if there's hostile people on the server, where, where can you run to if people are attacking your base and you need to get somewhere safe so you can uh, tool up, re-equip, grab yourself some potions, and get ready for battle? I thought this was a really, really, really cool build, and I this this was actually the uh, build that kind of prompted me to do this um, series because I, I I don't know I just really wanted to show this off because I thought it was really cool. So first things first, obviously you want to have yourself some sleeping quarters. Um, got myself a few bunk beds in here, some crafting tables, and a few places where people can keep their stuff. Also keeping in mind that you might have a few different people playing on the server with you, so you know they might need some places to sleep. Say if you got a couple people that just join the server don't have anywhere to put their lay their head down so here's some place where they can stay and they'll be you know nice and safe and secure in here without worry of getting their stuff taken um, also I wanted to point out that the hopper output is down here so if you know you run out of your keys like say you have something that's really rare like say you have 64 like the, the passcode is a diamond man so you have to throw your diamonds in here well you know you don't have that many diamonds so you can just go down there real quick and grab the key obviously you want to trust people to let them in here so you don't have to worry about that too much the next portion of the armory um, is actually also done by mr. crayfish um, this one is a little less reliable uh, as far as uh, redstone builds builds go but it was really cool and I really wanted to kind of set it up so again I will be linking the tutorial done by mr. crayfish um, in the description of this video to show you guys how to make the armor stand do that oh yeah now it's really cool you can like actually I think I think you can make this as tall as you want but right now I have three different armor stands on there most of them are empty because I've just been kind of filling stuff up with stuff that I've found because this is a survival play playthrough like we're playing on a survival server so you know we have to gather all the resources and stuff ourselves so needless to say I'm not super rich like uh, yeah these aren't these aren't full of uh, gold chests and armor chests but there are some stuff in there yeah, I've got three of these guys set up. Yeah, they sometimes fail, which I'm trying to like. Now that I'm showing you guys, it's not failing. Any other time I bring somebody here, the first time I push the button, the armor stand just falls and nothing pops up. <laughs> but it's pretty good. I like it. I think this is really cool. A really cool way to also keep uh, somewhere to put all your different colored leather suits without having to take up a whole bunch of space. Yeah, I like it. And then over here, I generally just have a bunch of different weapons and stuff. So, you know, again, if you're having a big, huge battle and everybody needs to tool up really quick, you've got some place where you can bring all your homies and, uh, yeah, get them all tooled up. The next thing, which I thought was uh, pretty clever, was a little medical bay. Some place where people can come in, rest, eat some cake if they need to, grab some regen potions. If they, uh, if they also happen to get all the way down here on fire, uh, they can put themselves out. <laughs> a little less likely, but, you know. Oh yeah, we can also turn it on and off. That was just like a nice little touch. Secondly, and uh, this kind of segues into a future build. Oh yeah, potion storage, baby. All nice and stocked up. 
Got everything you could possibly need. I got all the high tier potions in here. Um, in the future, I was planning on making kind of like some sort of potion shop or something like that that had every single potion imaginable. Uh, but for now, since this is just kind of like a personal armor, a personal armory, if you will, where you just kind of keep stuff for yourself, I felt, uh, you know, one one chest each for everything was pretty good. And I have to say, this actually came in came in uh, very useful. This was extremely useful when I was farming Wither Skeleton Skulls because what I would do is every time the server would reset, I would come in here, grab a whole bunch of strength potions, and go farm Wither Skeletons in the you know, Wither Skeleton uh, farm we have set up. So it was really nice, really, really useful to have this set off to the side. Now, obviously, when it gets empty, i got to restock it, but that solution will come in a future video. Moving right along comes probably one of the coolest builds I did. This one actually took a little while, um, but it's it's one of my favorites for sure. Um, now, both of these, these are actually two separate builds. Both of them were done by Mumble Jumbo. Oh, no, actually, I take that back. Um, this system right here, the uh, item lock system, or I'm sorry, the item frame lock system was done by Mr. Crayfish. Uh, so be sure to look in the description to find the tutorial to how to make it, but it's pretty straightforward. It's actually really easy. I was actually kind of uh, debating whether or not I wanted to credit him on it or not, but I figured, sure, why not? I, I watched the video like a hundred times making sure I had it perfect, so I figured, you know, why not? Because it's pretty nice, but again, it's pretty simple. Um, so let me actually go ahead and set the password so we can get in here. Now, don't tell anybody, all right? I mean, I got some nice stuff in here. Um, but yeah, that one's actually not anything. That one's a that one's a trick. That one's a trap. You think you think you gotta change it to something, but actually you don't. And even even I forget, as you can see. There you go. There's the magic sound. And there you go. Now this this piston door it does a nice circle that I unfortunately can't really show too easily, so you'll just have to trust me. But the way it opens is is really cool. It does like a nice spiral. And this was this one was done by Mumbo Jumbo. So of course, look in the description. There'll be a tutorial on how to do it by Mumbo Jumbo on his channel. So this one, this is my vault. This is completely housed in obsidian. It took me a long time to get all this obsidian. Um, my goal was actually to eventually house this entire armory in obsidian, but in time, in time. Um, I've probably spent about a month on this server. I should mention that at this point. So anyway, the vault houses all of my most important things. Now, obviously, someone can just break down the doors for off court and like break the doors down and come in here and steal everything. But again, a lot of this stuff is obviously meant to be a deterrent. I mean, it's Minecraft. You can find ways around everything. Um, even Obsidian, you know? Um, only Bedrock is the, you know, greatest end-all unbreakable thing. But unfortunately, we can't do anything about that. So yeah, all of my important stuff is in here. My music discs, all of my enchantment books that I've collected over the uh, time that I've been playing. And of course, my legendary, amazing diamond armor. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'll just kind of give you a hint right there at how nice it is. I don't want I don't want you guys to know what I got in here completely, man. But this is the stuff that I wear when I ever, you know, go and fight with the skeletons on our farm. Pretty fantastic. I really, really liked all of this, and uh, I'm sure you guys will as well. Um, as far as resources go, this was all very simple, very straightforward. Uh, building the pistons took me a little while just because um, it's not complicated, just really compact, which was really nice, but as far as building it, for the first time went, it was a little bit tedious, I will say that. But generally speaking, I think this turned out amazing. I think it looks really, really cool. And of course, it's awesome to show off to your friends because it works perfectly. Oh yeah, nice and secure. So with that, that is going to wrap up the video, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. I, of course, have been Lanolin. This has been my Vanilla Minecraft 1.8 Build Spotlights, where I have been showing you guys a few vanilla builds that I have done myself that I think would fit and really cool into a single-player world. This one is a little bit more multiplayer-oriented, I will admit, but I thought it was really cool, and I think you guys could appreciate it. So, as always, I have been Lanolin. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.